Well, good morning to the both of you. A few people have already come in to take advantage of the air conditioning at this cooling center. The city has about a half dozen of them that are open due to this extreme heat. Others are just finding any way they can to cool off. Just like these kids at this summer football camp, the sun came to play today. I think they understand about the extreme heat. Shailene Claire is here with her son from Kalamazoo, Michigan. She found a comfortable place to watch a lot of football and a lot of water breaks. I think they're going to do good with the kids by having extra water breaks. They had at least one in the half hour we were here. My son finished, uh, I don't know, probably like a pint of water, no, a quart of water. V. Lee wanted to be a little closer to the action, which meant the only shade he could find was cast by the Porta John. For the shade, it's okay. The heat mix with humidity can be a dangerous, even deadly combination. Knowing your limits, especially exercising outside on a day like this, is key. I've run for a long time, so I've learned how to adjust to the heat. Right. Yvette Murphy ran five miles today. She said she took it a little easy, and when we caught up with her he was in the shade it was hot i definitely had to break up my intervals by going into the shade and taking breaks and just and just modifying my workout um, i'm really conscious about overheating and i don't want to get sick now, as we mentioned, the city has opened those cooling centers. We have a complete list of where you can find those cooling centers on our website, WGNTV.com. You can always call 311 as well. We're live in Uptown. I'm Eric Rump, WGN News. Thanks.